Well, it's been pretty clear to fans for a while that the Red Hulk will be part of Captain America Brave New World. And now what appears to be a first actual look at the character has found its way online. And, well, it's interesting. So let's take a couple minutes to check out the picture, talk about this Red Hulk, and explore exactly why it looks that way. Let's break it down. Now, before we dive in, make sure you hit that like and subscribe button and ring the bell for all the updates. We do daily Marvel and DC videos, and we want to be your place for all that superhero news, but we're going to bring it to you truthfully and transparently so you are in the know. Well, for many fans, probably the most exciting possibilities for the upcoming Captain America Brave New World film is that the Red Hulk will finally find his way into the MCU. Now, about a week ago, we got a little bit of a tease of the character in the form of a Happy Meal toy, but we always know that's not what the character will look like once it shows up on the screen. But recently, we got a much better look. Now, this came in the form of one of those really big cardboard standee cutouts, which totally appears to show a transformed Thunderbolt Ross in his full Red Hulk form. Now, to be clear, this isn't officially from Marvel Studios and actually found its way onto Reddit, so we're unsure of the legitimacy, and quite honestly, it looks a little weird. Let's go ahead and check it out. Well, I have to say, it really doesn't look much like Harrison Ford, and this version of the Red Hulk, well, he kind of looks a little bit troll-like, or maybe even a little gorilla-like. Now, to be fair, he's bound to look quite different than Mark Ruffalo's version of the current Hulk, but overall, it does look a little off. Now, this is a leak, so it could be fake, but it is rather convincing. Like most of these big cutouts, the outline continues around the character's fingers, and the Captain America New World logo is right where you would expect it to be. Quite honestly, I find this to be a bit of a bizarre take on the character, because one thing about the Red Hulk is he pretty much has his intellect intact from the beginning. Now, this version of the Hulk, though, does remind me of a good bit of the Avengers version of the Hulk. If you remember correctly, he was very, well, almost simian-like, seeing him spend a lot of time on all fours, and obviously a little more enraged in the versions we've gotten since then. Now, there's a distinct possibility since the leader is part of this film that this version of the character is still a little, well, flawed or incomplete. And the picture itself could just be simply lacking and not really giving us some of the refined details that we want to see. We also have to consider that Marvel is still working on this movie. And I really do think they totally understand what bringing the Red Hulk to life means since they've done a pretty good job with the regular Hulk and I kind of doubt they would go with such a disappointing take on the character. Now, to be fair, Marvel still hasn't absolutely confirmed the Red Hulk is part of the film. We do know from multiple leaks from merchandise he appears to be, but they're still playing very coy, and that could be because they're dissatisfied with this design, and ultimately the version we get in the finished product will look a lot different. The film is set to drop next February, so Marvel has a ton of time to work on this movie, and I'm not really expecting a trailer till the fall, meaning they could have a good six months of reworks on not just these new scenes, but the CG for the Red Hulk. If this is the version we ultimately get, we're going to have to wait and see, but if it is, I think fans are going to be pretty disappointed. 